So last summer I started a video series cataloging my game collection and I've had some requests to uh, get back into that. So that's what I want to do. So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, I, I already had done my Saturn collection. Let me do my PlayStation collection. So all the black ones here are the US PlayStation games and all the ones with the white um, the, 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 the white ones here are the, the Japanese ones. Alright, so, first things first, Atari's Greatest Hits, Volume 1 and 2. Pretty fun. I'm playing, um, especially playing, um, uh... Yeah, actually, it's not on this one. The first one does not have it. Interesting. Yeah, so Tempest was probably my favorite on, on this one. Battle Zone, of course, as well. Um, the Gauntlet on this one. This is really great. And the Road Blasters is really, really fantastic as well. Uh, they never did come out with a Volume 3. I think they had like just like a Midway collection with like Atari and Midway games, and that one had Stun Runner. And uh, that's like one of the few games that I can play in the arcade and do well at. Ball Blazer Champions. Now, this is like, like the first year I think that the PlayStation came out. Is when this this game was released. Actually, the first, uh, if uh, uh, assuming there are young people who do not know that the the PlayStation when it first came out, they did not have these jewel cases. They had like those like those double. Um, they were like about the size of like these uh, these Saturn and um, um, Sega CD cases. Really tall things. Anyhow, Ball Blazer Champions. I had a Ball Blazer on my Atari 7800, and uh, that was just a fantastic game. I loved it. The great music, the the, the, the sound, and uh, the 3D graphics were just amazing. And uh, it's because it wasn't really entirely the 7800 um, uh, hardware, but they had like an actual hardware chip inside the game that made it really fantastic. Anyhow, this is it's a bit slower. It's not as frantic. But this is still pretty fun. Uh, I like the the futuristic sports genre. It's really the closest you'll you'll see me getting to sports. Colony Wars. Oh gosh, I would have this game hooked up to my my stereo, and I would blast it so loud, and the explosions would just rumble my my bedroom. It was so fun. Uh, this is like when I was in uh, in college when I was playing this game for the first time. Fantastic game. The second game, I think the 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 HUD uh, was really hard to see, and I just ended up giving up on it. It really was not as as great as the first game was. People say that the Colony Wars three was great, but I've never played it. Dead or Alive? Oh my gosh! Yeah, this was uh this was was quite quite a uh, interesting fighting game when it first came out. And this this was my introdu my introduction to the series. You know, I have it on the Saturn as well. But I think I probably played that game more than any of the other ones. Um, like maybe the Dreamcast one. Although I probably played this one more because I have all the unlocking all the costumes and crap. Einhander, fantastic shmup. I I would play the game with both of the weapons. You can switch back and forth. Um, my friends, they, they think it's too difficult, but maybe, I don't know, maybe they can play the game better than I can. But I, I like being able to, to play, you know, with uh, two different guns at the same time. Final Fantasy Origins. This is Final Fantasy 1 and 2. I got so far into Final Fantasy 1, the encounter rate is just insane. And um, I, never, I never finished it. That was like about a year or so before I moved to Japan, so that was like... What, like seven years ago, close to? Oh, no, sorry. I mean, no, five years ago. I'm not doing my math right. Um, yeah, I, I got to a point where I was trying to find some island or try to get to back to where I wanted to go, and I couldn't find it, and all the, the constant um, encounters at sea, and I couldn't pull up a map to see where I wanted to go, and I just I just gave up. But it, it was fun, but, you know, I don't know. I have this on my PSP, but I'll, I'll show you my PSP games later. Final Fantasy Anthology. This has 5 and 6. And uh, I've played both of these. Uh, I think Final Fantasy 5, I played this like 
gosh, that was like when I was living in Himeji. That was like maybe like, uh, what, 15 years ago? Long time ago, when I when I first lived in Japan for the first time. Man. And then I, I played Final Fantasy VI about, maybe about uh, six or seven years ago. And Final Fantasy VI is probably my favorite game out of all of the series. Final Fantasy VII, however, was my introduction to Final Fantasy. Um, as it was with many people, Final Fantasy VII was not my first RPG. I was playing Chrono Trigger before I played this game. Um, but this was my introduction to the Final Fantasy series. It's great, although the materia part, though, it kind of, you know, when everybody casts magic, it's just not quite the same. Um, looking back, I, I don't like that aspect of the game. Um, it's interesting, however, to say the least. Ghost in the Shell, oh my gosh, this is such a cool game. This is one of the first games I bought. Um, man, yeah, this this is a really cool game. And as, fortunately, it's an anime-related game that's actually pretty cool. I have the soundtrack, and the soundtrack is pretty fantastic. Grandia. I love this game. Oh yeah, I had Final Fantasy VIII. I beat it just out of, just because I, I refused to have that game beat me, and I had more dedication back then. If I was to try it for the first time nowadays, I wouldn't bother with it. Final Fantasy VIII is just so dumb. I don't I don't care for it at all. I, I sold it, and I got some decent money for it at Bookman's, and... In, uh, in Arizona. Anyhow, this is Grandia. It's not as good as the Saturn version, but this one is in English, and this was my introduction to Grandia. And it is a fantastic game. I love it. I love it. Uh, the whole sense of it takes you forever. You know, you don't get, like, this ship, this airship that you can go back to anywhere you want to in the game. No, you. it's a it's a journey, and you're not going back. It, this, this game really gives you the sense of scale in the world. And it's just a fantastic RPG, and I love it. And it, it really captures the 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 kids. Um, and, you know, his little sister, or his friend, or what is his sister? I can't remember, but she gets exhausted, and you have to send her back because she's just not up for it. Really interesting game. Metal Gear Solid. Yay. I've never played any of the other ones. I never had them on a, the PlayStation 2. I never got around to it, but I played this game. I beat it. It was pretty cool. Namco Collection Volume 1 and 3. This one has Pac-Man, this one has Ms. Pac-Man. So this is Project Horned Owl. I think this was the first game I ever got for the PlayStation. It is, uh, what, I got this in the mid-90s, and um, I think it was maybe like 10 or $15. It was like on, on like a really steep discount at Best Buy. I'm pretty sure this was the first game I ever got for the PlayStation. Pretty sure. And... It's a gun game, I believe. It says mouse compatible, but I'm pretty sure you can play with the gun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It says you can play with the Konami Enforcer gun. So, um, yeah, good luck. You can't do that on a HD TV anymore these days, though. Unfortunately, it's really sad. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, Masamune Shiro did uh, character designs and the, and the mecha designs, I think, for this game. Can't remember. It doesn't say on the back. I don't want to get the instructions out. Anyhow, there you go. Puzzle Star Sweep. This is cute. It's a puzzle game. Can't even really remember how this game plays too well, but I it was like a, what, like ten dollars or something. Way back in the day, I got this at Fry's Electronics. This, this is probably maybe one of the first game, or the last games I ever bought for the PlayStation. Um, in the USA, at least for, you know for the North American PlayStation, Ray Crisis Shmup is great. I had this the second game in the series, the the Ray Ray Force or whatever, uh, Ray Storm. But uh, I think when I got it on the Japanese, I think I have it for the the Japanese. Yeah, and so I got rid of the English one. Silhouette Mirage. This is Working Designs. I think, yeah, this one's Working Designs as well. Working Designs like to screw up with things. They tampered with this. I never got the um, the Saturn version of this, but I do have the original Japanese version. They changed the music a little bit. R-Type Delta. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I got some sort of uh, cheat code in here. Maybe I should just put this in here. 
All right, great. Uh, R type Delta Slinky Soul Blade. I think I think I probably got this along with Project Horned Owl on the same day. I'm pretty sure. This is what really just blew me away, and I wanted to get the the, the console after playing that Star Ocean Second Story. Great RPG, really frantic. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Gosh, I love playing this. And I'm colorblind, so I suck at this game because the yellow and the green are too similar. They are just too similar for my eyes. Can't play it very well against my friends, but I do have fun losing. I mean, I, I, I'm i somewhat proficient with the game, but, you know, whatever. Tempest X3, fantastic. This is a port of Tempest 2000 on the Atari Jaguar. Uh, I used to have the Atari Jaguar, and Tempest 2000 was the only real good game I had for it. I didn't. I got some other games. I got right in for it. It really wasn't that great of a port, but I got it anyways because it was a shmup. Anyhow, this is great. It's not as good as Tempest 2000, but it looks prettier. So, there you go. Tenchu. This is the first one. This is super gory. This is probably the goriest one they've ever come out with. Um, they couldn't do it starting with the second game because... I think the reason why they toned down some of the gore is because you can pick up the bodies and hide them and such. Um, which is stupid, though, because, you know, you're murdering somebody with swords. There's going to be trails of blood everywhere. But, you know, whatever. Um, this, you're, you know, you hack off their hands and stuff. You know, it's, uh, you can behead them and everything. It's it's, it's pretty pretty intense. Tenshu 2. Second game. You know, I, it's hard to go back to these, though, after playing the modern Tenchu games because they move so slowly. And, uh, oh my gosh, Wipeout. Love it. Introduced me to electronica music in the in the mid-90s. Wipeout Excel. And my favorite, Wipeout 3. This is more trance music. And I, I, I like the afterburner in the game. Um, this is probably the best Wipeout game made. I think. Now, we're going into the Japanese version games here. This is the, the Japanese market. <laughs> Afro Ken, the puzzle. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I even have this. I don't think I've even played this. <laughs> you might hear me say that a lot with the PlayStation game. Arkanoid Returns. I love this game. I got the Namco volume controller just to play this game. Fantastic. I love Arkanoid. Uh, internal section. This is Squaresoft. It's kind of like a Tempest type of game. It's not as good as Tempest 2000. Um, you, you have like the 12 signs of the Chinese Zodiac. You can you know, Each one has a different gun pattern and it seems kind of cool, but just switching between them all, it's just it's too cumbersome. It's not that great. Gunner's Heaven. This is really fantastic. This is very similar to Guardian Heroes, I think. Um, I think it might even have some of the people who worked for um, Treasure back in the day, I think. I don't know, I'm not a uh, game encyclopedia like I used to be. Now, this is Gun Buddy Game Tengoku. This is a uh, sequel to Game Tengoku on the Saturn. It's not as good, though. I didn't care for it as much, and I haven't really played it that much. So... That's my opinion on that. It's really interesting, though, these uh, these PlayStation, these domestic uh, Japanese um, uh, PlayStation cases. They're like these really weird, thick things. I don't know why they chose to go that route, but not all of them are like that, obviously. Oh, uh, this is Ginga Eiyu Densetsu, otherwise known as Legend of the Galactic Heroes. This is a really cool game. I played it a lot when I first got it, and I hadn't played it since then. My friend helped me figure it out, even though he can't read any Japanese. We just kind of dicked around with it until we figured it out. This is Psychic Force. Puzzle Tyson. This is a Taito game. And it's basically, it's a puzzle bobble with the characters from Psychic Force. Now, I, I have Psychic Force, what's it called, 2020 or whatever it is, on the Dreamcast, but there was a first game in the series that was on the PlayStation. This is just a Puzzle Tyson with the characters from Psychic Force. Go figure. Sekai no Monsho, which is um, 
uh, Crest of the Stars. Fantastic anime. I've never played the game. I think you go through military school in the game. Can't remember. I don't think I've even played this. I got it because I'm a huge fan of the series. The the Crest of the Stars, Banner of the Stars. Gradius Gaiden, fantastic. Get it if you can. Um, now, this game here, Go Ketsuji 2? Um, this is uh, called Power Instinct 2 in English. I played this in the arcade. Actually, it wasn't an arcade. It was a laser tag place in Phoenix, Arizona called um, Laser something. I can't remember. But I played this game and I played Gunbird like crazy. Uh, both of those games in that arcade. And of course I couldn't figure out how to play because I'm not good at playing um, fighting games in the arcades too well. Cotton Original. This is really great. I think this might be expensive these days. I don't know. I can't remember. Shmup. This is a really, really weird game. Postanin. Uh, Koro Koro Postanin. You don't really control the character. You control the environment. It kind of looks like those those rotating... Uh, those levels of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog where you get the coins and crap. Um, but you're you're uh, controlling the world that this girl is running around in. You just rotate it back and forth. It's really weird. This is Assault Suits Vulcan 2. This is not as great as the first game. It's more of a strategy game. I've never even played it, actually. I got it because I'm a Messiah, or Messiah fan. I like Messiah games. Here's the Silhouette Mirage in Japanese. I have a Xevious 3D G+. Nice. Okay, Twin B Tyson Puzzle Dama. So this is the Konami Puzzle Dama game. It's basically the same game as any other Puzzle Dama. It's just, they're all the same. Uh, this says remanifested with many different characters and such, and this just happens to have Twin B in there. Well, the reason I got it is just because it has Twin B. Tear Ring Saga. Uh, this was the guy who did um, uh, the first few games in the series of Fire Emblem. And he even had the same character designer help him out with this. Apparently it was too similar to Fire Emblem, so there was some sort of lawsuit and he had to change it to make it a little bit more unique because it was basically just Fire Emblem all over again. Tetris with Cardcaptor Sakura. It's exactly what you think it is. It's fantastic. I have this I have a poster of this game in my room. See, I told you so. All right, Donpachi, the first in the series. Here you go. I never got it for the... Oh, no, I do have it for the uh, the Saturn. I forgot. Sorry, I lied. Night Striker. It's cool. This isn't the best port of it, but I got it. It was super cheap. It was only like 500 yen or so. Okay, Namco Encore. I got this because it has Wonder Momo. No, just kidding. Rolling Thunder. I love Rolling Thunder. Punch the Monkey. This is uh, Lupin the Third rhythm game. I think it's fantastic. Really, really fun game. I can't even get past the first level, though, but it's cool. There you have it. Puchi Karat is a nice puzzle, Taito puzzle game. And this also, you can use the Namco uh, volume controller. And I think the, the volume controller is mainly for Pachinko. Pachinko? Sorry. If, if you say, as an American, if you say Pachinko, it kids laugh in Japan um, because it sounds like you're saying like you know because chinko is like a penis right and or or dick or wee wee or whatever um, but you're supposed to say pachinko and if you don't say it right it they chuckle this is brave prove I haven't gotten very far in this but it's kind of like a Zelda type game I think it's neat uh, it's all 2D graphics too so. Nice. Alright, so this is Bokan to Ipatsu. 
Dragon Ball. This is uh, the characters from Yatterman. This is a shmup. It's really fun. Even if you're not into Yatterman, it's really cool. And what's really nice is that um, the Yatterman are the bad guys. <laughs> well, I mean, well, of course the Yatterman, they're always the good guys in the show, but... You know, the Doronjo gang, they're the more interesting people, so you're actually playing them, and uh, you're, you're the, pro, you know, the, you're the, the protagonist antagonist, I guess. You're actually the characters that you play, and you're fighting against the good guys, which is a really neat little uh, switch. Mr. Driller G, awesome, very cool. I wish this had been released on the Dreamcast, but alas... This is uh, Raiden DX. It's really fun. Super neato. This is Raiden Project, which has what? Shoot. I think it's Raiden, Raiden 2 arcade mode and Raiden 2. Um, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Raiden and Raiden 2 arcade mode. Raiden DX is a bit better, though. It's like Raiden 2, but with more neat crap. And lastly, Raystorm. Yeah, I think I had the American version of this. And uh, I think, what is it, the third level? There's the song in the background. And so my friend Nathan had introduced me to Raystorm. And there is a part, There's what I think it's the third level. You're flying over the water. And the music is like, Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. So every time I would play that game, he'd be like, shut up, shut up. And I would always sing that, Nathan, Nathan. And uh, I would annoy him. Because I'm an annoying person. So that brings me to the end of my PlayStation game selection. Thanks for watching and stuff. Okay, goodbye.